Welcome back to my channel, Divine Timeless Cosmic Tarot. If this is your first time coming across my channel, welcome. Come on in. I'm so glad you're here. I just feel like you're exactly where you're supposed to be at the time that you're supposed to be here. There's just something really good um, by way of knowing that you are in divine timing, by way of your divine alignment, by way of your divine birth path, right? Walking your own walk, staying in your own lane, adhering to your higher self. There's something really good about that. Come on in. Welcome to the beautiful spiritual neighborhood, at least at this platform. My best recommendation, you know, take what resonates and what does not, maybe just learn from it. Take that too. <laughs> Maybe it's about somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody else. Listen, if it don't apply, let it fly. But you can also learn by way of spiritual and or educational purposes. I love you. Listen, if you're returning back to the channel and you came here for, you know, celebratory reasons, educational reasons, shits and giggles reasons, commercial break reasons, or maybe all of the above, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that you are absolutely matching my energy. That means that you are my beautiful, amazing Soul Tribe family. Why did I have to say it like that? Soul Tribe family. <laughs> I freaking love y'all so much. Thank you for all the beautiful comments. Thank you for coming in such beautiful, divine energy. That in itself is a donation, you know? When you give of your time, your energy, you're in a high vibration, you could be anywhere, but you decided to be here with the queen. Queen Neff, some people call me Queen Neff, some people call me Iya Iya, some people call me Makoli. Just make sure that when you call me, you say my name in a high vibration. You can sing my name if you want to. I'm not opposed to it. Listen. <laughs> so tribe. Love. freaking love you so tribe you know I do I love you so much my beautiful soul smiles every time I think about my beautiful soul tribe come on in and get this good energy let's get to this spiritual work what's going on in the cosmos and the ethers listen I've already called in my appropriate protection I pray that everybody in attendance by way of this live stream has been wise enough to have done the same. Cross watchers, bitter bonnies, and negative Nancys and Nathans. Well, you know, yeah, we know you come to these lives. We know it's okay. We just wanted to give you a shout out. Maybe you needed that little bit of energy. I hope you do something good with it. Ages 20 to 30, somebody could be in between the ages of 20 to 30. Okay, so something's really significant about that. Or maybe something happened when you was between the ages of 20 and 30. Give me current energy, foresight, cosmic insight, foresight, Hindu energy. Somebody is really in this shaman energy. Okay, I got a whole bunch of rainbow lizards <laughs> crawling on my window. That is a sign of good energy. That is a sign of good money coming through. I'm here to tell you. All the really, really beautiful rainbow lizards are on my window. Hindu energy, police officers. Somebody feels like they are, I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say above the law. Or somebody could just be in law enforcement, highway patrol, sheriff, Hindu, ages 20 to 30, or something happened around that time. I don't know, somebody could have gone through an awakening after 20, 30 years, okay? Yeah, I'm, I don't feel like you're in between the ages of 20 and 30. You very well could be. 
or something took 20 or 30 years is what I just heard. But Hindu energy, police officer, law official, highway patrol, warning, okay? So be mindful if you're driving, speeding. This is for somebody that drives a little fast. Okay, spirit is saying a lot of fast. You got to need the speed. Okay, I'm that person too. I really sometimes feel like that, you know, in another life, or maybe on a quantum physics type of a level, I am a race car driver somewhere on another planet, maybe simultaneously living out a whole nother existence. I'm a race car driver. <laughs> Just, okay. I know that was a lot of information to take in. Shout out to the people that were brave enough to take that confession. You took it. <laughs> a straight shot no chaser clarify hindu police officer 20 to 30 these are like three separate situations what's going on five of cups what's going on somebody could have ascended am i channeling another past over loved one yes i am okay i didn't know i was gonna do this again but here we are I have to be obedient to spirit somebody could have passed away in the line of duty my condolences five of cups somebody could still be grieving this could have thrusted you on some type of an awakening or this person was a spiritualist or very spiritual what am i getting spirit page of cups this is when somebody was a child so somebody needs to do some type of shadow work Something about your adolescence, okay? Somebody could have lost a family member at a really young age, possibly around the age of seven. Yeah, seven. Okay. This person is coming through. What is it that they want this person to know? Strength. They're saying to be strong. This is somebody's loved one. This is, I'm channeling somebody's ancestor or family member, okay? Five of Cups to strength. They're saying to be strong. Stand in your understanding. Believe in yourself. Yeah, three of wands. You could be thinking to take some type of a trip. This person is saying not to doubt yourself, to go and take the journey. Move, go. You want to travel or something's at a distance where you feel like you need to go? Yeah, and you're overthinking it. What are you doing? Good. Two of pentacles. Somebody's guardian angel is coming through. Okay, you could have had a father. Okay, in law enforcement. It's 818. Somebody's birthday could be August 18th. Or if it isn't, something significant about that date. Or that just represents as above, so below. Yeah, something about you traveling to a distance. Okay, who is this person? Somebody died young. Or when you were young. Yeah, this is divine intervention. This person looks over you. Whose guardian angel is this? It's beautiful energy. I'm so glad this spirit came through with the come through. Because, you know, sometimes, let me just tell y'all on the commercial break, can we just have a real conversation? Can we just have a little confessional where I take off my, you know, I'm going to do the reading hat and just be myself. Okay, listen, I'm going to be myself either way. This is just another layer to self. But listen, sometimes when I'm channeling y'all, you know, by way of mediumship, remember, I just recently tapped into this energy where I had to admit, like, yo, I got real people coming to me like that are people's past over loved ones, although I know I channel spirit, okay? And so anybody that has this gift, you already know that you know the spirits don't leave you alone, child. If they know you can see them, feel them, you know, uh, energetically, then they're gonna come to you. They wanna get messages through to their loved ones, right? This is your, this is your job. You're, you know, you're married to the spirit realm. You work for the spirits, period, right? And so it's so nice, though, when you get a spirit that comes through with a high vibration, like whoever this energy is, oh my God, they're so fun. So I'm just like honored to channel this energy because sometimes the stories are a little sad, you know, which is why we got to keep ourselves in a high vibration um, because you were built for this, you know, you got you to gotta stay stable, you got to be grounded, you got to hold that light right for somebody else maybe this reading is helping somebody uh, heal or they're confirming something all right this person could come to you in your dreams or something like that somebody could be pregnant all right somebody could be thinking to travel alone or something to that extent solo dolo spirit is saying yeah take the trip something about a partnership is at a distance i don't know what this is or you're traveling with somebody your soulmate or to your soulmate, but you're at a stalemate, okay? So I was gonna say, not to cut myself off, that this is just really nice to channel this high vibrational energy. There's a lot of light here. There's a lot of light around me. 
What is it that you want to say, beautiful past over loved one, guardian angel to this person? Something about your beliefs, something about your understanding to open yourself up to new realms and possibilities. Somebody might not believe in the spirit world. You know, maybe they're very, they're a nonconformist. Uh, this is what this person is saying. King of Swords, you're, you're real solid. If it doesn't make logical sense, you're like, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> that doesn't make scientific sense. Like somebody's very intelligent, okay? Almost to a fault. This person is saying, yes, the spirit realm is real. When you find this reading or when it finds you, it's going to be real for you. And you will know that this is this person. Something about them coming to you. Something about you celebrating two of cups, okay? Somebody's birthday could be in February, okay? Don't necessarily have to be, but the Two of Cups is about a partnership. Three of Cups, something about a celebration. This could have been a friend, a partnership. What is this? What is this person trying to say? Five of Swords. There was some type of conflict or fight. What happened here? Somebody's talking about how they passed away. A22. Whoever you are, you could feel like uh, you don't have all the details about this person's passing is what they're saying. This is what's interesting and what a lot of people don't talk about is that your parent could absolutely be a soulmate. Yeah. And this is a soulmate energy, 822 on the clock. Somebody was your soulmate. Somebody feels like they should not have done something. Okay. This police officer maybe in the, yeah, this is somebody in the line of duty. Hierophant. Clarify the five of swords and the fool. What are they saying? What is it that you want us to know? They feel like they should have spent more time with your mother. Being fair. Somebody was very stern. Maybe a little like strict. You know. Uh, yeah. This person is saying that this was my soulmate. That's why the A22 is coming up. So this could be somebody's husband that I'm channeling. Somebody's father, husband, okay? A mother and a father, okay? Why is Hindu here? Why is Hindu here? Knight of Pentacles. This person could come through showing you stuff, leaving you gifts, okay? What does that mean? Why is the Knight of Pentacles there? Something about a pair of shoes, okay? So somebody is like leaving you signs. What am I seeing, spirit? They're leaving you signs. Somebody could have somebody's watch. Yeah, this is a father. Somebody was married to their soulmate. Queen of Pentacles is a wife, stable, king of swords to the queen of swords. Somebody is, uh, somebody is like embarking on spirituality. Maybe they're becoming more open to it. Yeah. Mm. Whoever this person is, they feel like they should have walked away from some type of confrontation and maybe they would not have come to their demise. This is what they're saying. Dang, this is deep. Yeah, they regret not walking away from some type of conflict or calling for backup or just letting something be or following their intuition. Clarify this energy, please, and thank you. I just heard it's not your fault. This person died feeling weighed down because they're thinking about their family, their wife, their child. This person is saying, had I just walked away, the Eight of Cups came up. Queen of Wands energy. Somebody is a straight up empress. Whew, this is somebody's twin coming through. This is somebody's husband. I just heard newlyweds. Celebration. Yeah, Two of Cups, Three of Cups. This is this like, I don't even know if somebody was married to somebody that long. Five of Wands, there was some type of conflict. Somebody could have tried to break up some type of fight. Hmm. Clarify what happened. Yeah, the Hierophant. Somebody's saying, right after I got married. Right after I got married. The Hierophant, marriage. Clarify what happened here. What happened? Yeah, somebody was happy. Happily married. Somebody could have been pregnant or something like that. Maybe you didn't tell this person that you were pregnant or you didn't know with the moon. Clarify what's going on here. Yeah, what's going on here? Yeah, this person was blindsided. They didn't see this coming. Two of Swords. Whatever this conflict was, uh, or however they passed, or whatever this was, they tried to break up something, a fight or something, where they feel like they should have 
done something else. Two of swords, they were blindsided. Yeah, this person is saying this is the truth. They're saying they're watching you. This is a guardian angel. There's a lot of light here, a lot of peace, okay? I don't know why Hindu energy is important, but they said that you will understand something is successful, something's a victory. Somebody could have gotten really spiritual after the passing. Somebody could have wanted to know more about the spirit realm, more about transitioning, okay? Maybe this was something that you never opened yourself up to, okay? Yeah, you started to make a decision, taking a different path. Something about going the distance, though. What is it? Somebody's thinking about traveling. What is that about? Somebody's saying that you're thinking about traveling. Maybe somebody doesn't want to relocate from a certain location because they feel like they would be dishonoring this person, okay? Or maybe they don't want to leave a house or move or, you know, somebody was newly married or it's like somebody married their best friend. This is like right after somebody's marriage, right? I mean, right after somebody's marriage, right after they got married. Thank you, spirit. Temperance, yeah, angels are guiding you. Somebody's your guardian angel. This is a partner. My ears are ringing. Something about getting news, about when you got the news. Hmm. Something about a son. Somebody could have had a son shortly after somebody passed or somebody had just had a child or this was hidden or somebody didn't know you were pregnant or people didn't know. Maybe the two of you knew, but nobody else knew that y'all were expecting a baby. Okay. Yeah. Somebody had their life planned out. Wow. This is deep. Okay. Whew. Lord have mercy. Ooh. Page of Cups. This person is apologizing for leaving you. Or you could have gone through a whole slew of emotions. Somebody could have been angry, sad. You know, why did you leave me? Why did this happen? And then you kind of went on this search for God. What is this at a distance, though? Something about going away. Yeah, you're being guided to do something. Stand your ground. Be found. Be, be, what a foundation? Be found? What am I hearing? Be solid in what you believe. Stand your ground. You could have some type of new spirituality, like energy, practice, you're inquiring, uh, something about death brought on, clarify that energy. Yeah, something about death of a husband, king of pentacles. This person left you stable. Something was in order, clarify the king of pentacles. Ooh, you didn't expect this though. Somebody had their life planned out with their partner. Both my ears are ringing. Somebody had their life planned out. Somebody left you stable, but you didn't see this coming. Somebody's your angel. They're watching you. Believe in angels, they're saying. Believe in spirits. Maybe you two didn't believe in that or something. And something about you going the distance. Something about a journey. This could be a spiritual journey. This could be an actual journey. You're in your head about something. Two of pentacles. Wondering if this spirit stuff is real. This is what I'm getting. Like, is this shit real? Like that. Like, no, it's not real. Because if God was real, they wouldn't have taken... My person, this person is saying it was supposed to be that way. Look at that moth that just came out of nowhere. Child, do not play with these spirits. Look at the moth. This moth just came out of nowhere. There's no window open. I don't know where this came from. Did y'all see the moth? <laughs> that is funny. This person is saying, so you need a sign, do you? Yeah, I love you. King of Cups. There's a lot of love here. This is somebody's father or husband. Father, husband, husband, father. It's the emperor. Clarify this person. This person's got a really good sense of humor. Yeah, Knight of Wands energy. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Yeah, somebody was pregnant. So something could have happened when this person was young or something. Uh, I don't know. A knight is a child, a young adult, a young child, something like that. Ace of Pentacles is a child, a new beginning, a gift from heaven, something like that. Huh, this person is funny. Clarify what's going on, spirit. Yeah. Yeah, something about an ending. Like it was supposed to be this way. It's okay. The world. They want you to do something. Yeah, page of pentacles. A child. Clarify the page of pentacles.
Yeah. Ooh. A lot of energy. Hold on. This, okay, this person could have gotten choked up. Like, not able to get their words out. King of Cups in the reverse. It's almost like they, they're, not that they're insensitive. They're saying, I never got to love my child like this. Like, I don't want this child to think I never got to love them. I didn't love them. King of Cups in the reverse. A child could be feeling abandoned. Or they're not processing death and life or God or spirituality or angels or that's not real. Like somebody is like not really, uh, they don't really believe in the spirit realm. Something about Hindu, somebody could come along and open up your eyes. You could meet somebody of a different faith or spirituality. These people are being sent to you to intervene, to help you heal. Five of Cups, it's a lot of grief. Somebody's holding on to grief. But with the King of Cups in the reverse, this person gets choked up <clears throat> at the fact that uh, this person is saying maybe they felt like they didn't have a loving father and they feel like they didn't get to love their, their child is what I'm getting with the King of Cups in the reverse. Normally, King of Cups is like manipulative, you know. But in this case, somebody is saying, I didn't get that chance to love. That's why it's in the reverse. I didn't get that chance to love my child but I love my child yeah they feel like in some way shape and form that they somebody feels like because they did not listen to their instincts in the line of duty it's like it's like somebody's passing and they're like shit like that like damn you know, it's 8.33 on the clock. Ooh, somebody is like, damn, like, why didn't I just walk away? Like somebody's arguing with themselves in their last moments. They feel like somehow this betrayed their family if they only had to just walked away from something and followed their instinct. Somebody didn't follow protocol or somebody thought that it wasn't going to get out of hand or whatever this is, they should have just followed some type of protocol or call for backup. And somehow they feel like they betrayed you. You could have felt betrayed at some point. It's like somebody going through different cycles of grief. It's like initially there's shock, there's sadness, then there's depression, and then there's anger. How could you do this to me? Why did you go? Why didn't you do this? Like somebody's overthinking is what I'm getting. Somebody's overthinking the circumstance woulda, coulda, shoulda, if I had done this, if I had done that, this person is saying, this was the way this was supposed to be. Yeah, you need to move on. Mm -hmm. This was the way that this was supposed to be. This is what they're saying. But you could have been like, this is us, three, family of three, a mother, a father, and a child, three of pentacles. Mm -mm -mm. Judgment. This was this person's time. As traumatizing as this is, you know, you could be asking why my left ear is itching. Oof, oof. This person is very, 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 uh, passionate, very calm demeanor. They just want to offer some form of explanation. Somebody might share this video with somebody or somebody might see this video or somebody that doesn't believe. Somebody's name could be Anthony or John, James, John, Steve, Anthony, John, James, Steve, something like that. I don't know what I'm hearing. Steven, I heard Anthony. I don't know. Tony, I got those names, okay? Those could be significant names. Clarify what's going on here in the chariot. Yeah, this person has said it was it was not easy to kind of like die alone. Okay. Somebody immediately left their body and was met by angels. Yeah, they thought about their soulmate. They thought about this pregnancy. Something about your intuition. You had a bad feeling or somebody had a bad feeling or something like that. 
the moon. You could be having dreams about this person, dreams that you're with them, or you're dreaming about this wedding, celebrations. Okay, this is the way that this person comes to you is by way of the dream state, your intuition. You're on a spiritual journey. Something about you using your grief to help other people. Ooh, I got chills all over my body. Yeah, this person is saying, you, yeah, take your pain and turn it into triumph. Something about you being on a spiritual journey. Something about you being on a spiritual journey. Helping other people. Opening them up to the spirit world. Spirit realm, something like this. You know, this person is saying, I know this sounds crazy, but had this never happened, you would not have gone on your spiritual journey. Hmm. Yeah. This is divine intervention. This is, I don't know why this had to happen this way. Yeah. Somebody is saying it'll all make sense one day. Man. Clarify what's going on. Yeah. This is a father. This person's coming out so beautiful though. This is one of the beautiful, most beautiful spirits I've ever channeled. What an honor. The emperor. This is somebody's husband. Divine soulmate. Somebody's saying, will I ever love again? The emperor to the empress. This was your person. Whew, my goodness. Somebody's saying to have loved and have lost, but to have never have loved at all would have been worse. Damn. Okay, somebody's really coming through with the come through. Y'all bear with me, please, here, and thank you. Yeah, this is a, listen, you've traveled through time with this person. Six of Cups, you've been with this person so many lifetimes. This person saying, so why won't I be with you in the next? Like, duh. <laughs> like, I'll see you later. Ooh-wee, type of an energy, Six of Cups, like finish this thing out. You know, finish this thing out called life. <laughs> I cannot make this up. Four wands to the ace of cups, like, woo, my goodness. Yeah, look, I can't make it up. The lovers. <laughs> so beautiful. Wow. Anything else, you beautiful spirit? Yeah, this person's like, why wouldn't I be with you? Seven of Pentacles is like, seven of Pentacles to the six of cups is a whole bunch of lifetimes. You two always seem to find each other. This person is saying, maybe in the next time, the next lifetime, you'll be my brother. <laughs> Somebody is. <laughs> this is a beautiful spirit. Clarify anything else we need to know. Yeah, they're saying, look, stick it out. Stand up. Stay strong. You're still here. What are you doing? Get up. Somebody's saying, stop. Move forward. Something that you're supposed to be doing, something that you're supposed to do at a distance. This could be something about you traveling. Okay. Somebody might want to travel to the Holy Land. This is a part of your destiny. You are the high priestess. Somehow you're going to use what you've gone through to help people heal from grief. Whew. Anything else we need to see? Yeah, I cannot make this up. Queen of Cups energy. This person is saying you are the best lover I ever had. You got enough love for everybody. Queen of Cups energy is loving, caring, kind. It's Empress energy. This is this is some beautiful energy. Wow. Anything else? Beautiful spirit. Anything else? Anything else? Yeah. They said they know you've been stressed out, weighed down. Somebody don't believe in spirituality. Somebody's going through a full spiritual awakening, but you will heal. I don't know if this recently happened or what happened or how long ago this was, but something about you healing in order to heal yourself you will know that you are a healer because you've healed yourself yeah mm. it's like they're apologizing page of cups the star whatever this is that you're going to do by way of your spiritual journey you're absolutely going to get some type of some type of recognition all over the world possibly I don't know what this is. You could be working with children or grieving parents or mothers or families, but something by way of being a healer. Yeah, look, I cannot make this up. Nine of Swords in the reverse. Helping people, you know, uh, heal from grief, loss, helping them on their spiritual journey. This is like dark night of the soul energy, understanding the bigger picture. 
Mm. This person is saying, at least you won't be a hypocrite. This person has got some real interesting sarcasm. Like, they're funny. Uh, somebody's like, yeah, at least you won't be a hypocrite. Like, even though you're like, okay, I lost you. They're saying, at least you know. Like, you will heal so much that you're going to laugh. This person, like, once you get through all of this and you see how this is all coming together by way of your journey, you're going to laugh. You'll understand. Because he's saying, I'm, I'm not gone anywhere. I'm still with you. I will see you again. I always see you again. Six of cups. I've seen you in every lifetime. Seven of pentacles. We stuck together like glue. They want you to move forward though with the chariot. Somebody's saying move forward and heal. The way you heal is by helping others, by way of telling your story. This is how you're going to heal over and over and over again. You're supposed to do something by way of public recognition. I don't know what this is. Are you supposed to like do something where you're supposed to be seen? Okay, this could be on the platform, public eye, or traveling. Something about you going the distance. Something about taking a trip. And there's somebody coming into your life. Or somebody is going to grow up. I don't know if this is the child or the son. Who's this king of wands? Who's this king of wands? Eight of wands, Sagittarius energy. This person sending somebody into your life. Wow. To love you, protect you. Yeah, you're going through a major because this person is, listen, this person is funny. This person's like, yes, it's me. I've crossed over. Like, this is like messages from the afterlife, death. This person is sending in somebody. Eight of wands. This person's coming in quick and this person's going to protect you, love you. This person is saying they want you to love again. Yeah, they want you to love again. Look at your heart. I cannot make this up. Three of swords. Come through with the come through. Yeah, this is interesting. Wow. Well, I'm going to stop here. I just want to say thank you to the spirit world for allowing me to tap into this beautiful story. I feel honored to have been chosen to channel such beautiful energy by way of trauma to triumph, you know, pain to power. Uh, this is beautiful. You know, I'm glad that somebody was able to get this story because somebody needs this story. They need clarification and confirmation. And this is beautiful. This is really beautiful energy. We all can learn from this, even if this is not your story and it doesn't resonate, you know, we all can learn from it. So I'm just glad and I'm honored. I'm going to respectfully send this person love and light. I'm going to close this spiritual door with all due respect to the spirit realm. I am eternally grateful and that's just what it is. Whew. I love y'all, okay? Whoever this is for, I send you beautiful love and light. If this resonates, drop a heart down below. If you just learned something from this story, as have I, drop a heart, show some love, leave some good energy. You know, it's contagious. When the good energy is out there, it rubs off on people. And that's just what it is. But I love y'all so much. I do. I will absolutely see you in the next video. Until then, it's 8.44 on the clock. <laughs> These people are soulmates. Listen, I love y'all. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace be with you.